Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss that could greatly impact your dog's well-being, the effect of a diet on the dog's behavior. As responsible pet owners, we all want to ensure that our dogs lead happy and stress-free lives. And did you know that what they eat can play a significant role in their behavior? Let's delve into some fascinating scientific studies to uncover how diet can influence a dog's behavior. I'm your host, Dr. Ryan, a veterinarian and a veterinary behavior residency graduate, and let's get started. Our first study conducted by Cato et al. examined how prescription diet with alpha-casizopine and L-tryptophan affected privately owned anxious dogs. The researchers found that after feeding dogs the study diet, there was a significant improvement in their ability to cope with stress and reduction in anxiety-related behaviors. This suggests that a specialized diet could be beneficial for dogs dealing with anxiety and stress. Next, let's explore the research by DiNapoli et al. Focusing on the link between dietary protein content and aggression in dogs. The study showed that tryptophan supplemented low-protein diets were associated with significantly lower aggression scores in dogs with what was then defined as dominance aggression towards the owner. For dogs with territorial aggression, tryptophan supplementation on a low-protein diet also helped in reducing aggression. A well-balanced protein intake can therefore play a role in managing aggressive behavior in dogs. Our third study, conducted by Crowell Davis et al., explored the impact of caloric restriction on dog behavior. Interestingly, the researchers found that aggression decreased significantly in dogs on caloric restriction, even after the restriction period ended. While more research is needed, this suggests that caloric management might have a positive influence on aggression in dogs. Sunyon et al. present a fascinating case report of a dog with worsening aggression and behavioral changes. They found that a gluten-free, hydrolyzed protein diet had a dramatic effect on the dog's behavior, resolving the aggression and improving the overall behavior. This case highlights the potential of dietary modifications like a gluten-free diet in addressing aggression in dogs. But this is just a case report. This is a report on only one dog, so a more comprehensive study is required. Gazzano et al. studied the effect of L-tryptophan supplementation on blood serotonin levels in dogs fed a dissociated carbohydrate-based diet. The results show that the addition of L-tryptophan led to increased serotonin concentrations in the blood. Serotonin is known to influence mood and behavior in dogs and can play a role in alleviating stress and anxiety. Palestrini et al. conducted a randomized double-blind trial to evaluate the efficacy of a diet containing casinate hydrolysate on stress in dogs. They observed signs of improvement in anxious dogs fed with the casinate hydrolysate diet and cortisol levels significantly decreased in these dogs. This suggests that the casinate hydrolysate could be used as a functional ingredient to alleviate stress in dogs. A study by Landsberg et al. showed that a fish hydrolysate showed some effectiveness in reducing hyperactivity response to thunder and in reducing the cortisol response. Finally, Ephraim et al.'s study focused on a diet supplemented with polyphenols prebiotics and omega-3 fatty acids and its effects on the intestinal microbiota and anxiety-related metabolites in dogs. The researchers found significant changes in plasma and fecal metabolites, which were linked to reduced anxiety in dogs. This suggests that a well-balanced diet with these supplements can positively impact a dog's behavior and overall well-being. In conclusion, scientific evidence shows that a dog's diet can have a profound effect on its behavior, from reducing aggression to alleviating anxiety. Specific diets and supplements can play a crucial role in promoting a calmer and happier canine companion. There are some supplements and commercial diets available that contain some of the ingredients that I mentioned. But remember, 
that most of these studies were not done on a large number of dogs or done in a way that will reduce the chance of a placebo effect. As far as I know, all of these diets are relatively safe as any other diet is. So if you're willing to try, know that it usually takes a few weeks until you see the effects and that it might not work for every dog. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will appreciate a like on the video or even a sub to the channel. The links to the articles are in the description of the video. Let me know if you think your dog's behavior was affected by a diet change. Oh, and check out this video too.